Hi everyone, trust you all are doing well and welcome back to another lesson in Livewire. All right, so we finished up our contact form, the validation and all that kind of stuff in the previous lesson. So in this one, we actually want to process the form. Now, the thing is, I want to actually use a mail trap to, in order to actually receive the form. So let's quickly go to PHP. So in your um, mail trap, you just go to inside, inside there you will see your demo inbox and you will, let me just see. When you get to this part, just go to your demo inbox right there. Then you'll see your integrations right here. I'm going to PHP, you're looking for Laravel 7 plus and just copy all those details right there. All right, so I'm just going to copy them, all right? And I'm actually going to my environment file inside my application right here. So inside your NV file right there, I'm just going to replace everything with that right there. So some room here. So if I do that, all right. So now our mail trap is all set up. Okay. So the next thing that I want to do, actually, we need to process this form. Now, the thing that I want to do is I need to create a mailable class in order to actually send an email to the, from this form to actually whoever this contact form needs to get. All right. So let's quickly open up our terminal. All right. In order to create that, so we just do PHP artisan. I'm just going to say make. All right. So we're going to say make mail and we're going to say uh, the name of that. We're just going to call this contact uh, form and we're going to add a markdown. That's going to equal to emails um, dot a contact form like this. All right, so we press enter. All right, so the mail created successfully. So now we need to have a class and we need to have a view right there. So let's say you see resources views. We're going to see we have a new one contact form right here for our markdown. And if we go on top right here on the app mail, you will see we have our mailable class right here. All right. So the first thing that we want to do is we obviously need to update our mailable class. All right. So let's quickly do that. Okay. So in our mailable class, let's see. Now, the reason why I paused like this is. Let me show you the right convention. Let me just delete this quickly. Let me delete that. Now, the right way to do it is, I'm just going to leave this in the video as well. The right way to do it is to kind of specify, let's say in this case, we're still going to do the contact form like this, but when you name the class, just call it mailable because it, then you will know what this is for. All right, so in this case, let's just do it like that. All right, so now we've got our class created successfully. So app, mail, contact form, mailable, right there. All right, so the next thing that we want to do is obviously update this form. So in order to actually handle our request, so we're going to create a public variable called uh, data. Now, this is the data that we will receive basically when we process the form right here. Okay. So the data, and we're just going to do a construct method, pass it the data right here. So this data is going to equal to that data right there. Okay. Now, the next thing that we want to do is, if you guys remember, we had the markdown right there, but now we're going to return this. Okay. So the subject. So if we send uh, the email, what is the subject going to be? Right in this case, I'm just going to be a live wire uh, contact form. All right. And this is going to, then we're just going to put a pipe notation in there. We're just going to say new message like this. All right. The next thing we want to do is we want the user to know who and where the email is from. So in this case, we're just going to add this from no apply add love wire contact contact dot co dot or dot org or dot com let's just do dot com 
like this. All right. So basically, that's going to be the subject, and this is where it's going to come from, and this is basically the marker. All right. So this kind of basically this right here comes from that markdown. So resources, views, emails, contact form right here. So this is basically the form that we're referencing inside here. Okay. So emails, contact form right there. Right, so ba that's basically now our mailable all set up. Now the next thing that we want to do is in our contact form, the email right here, we need to obviously specify a couple of things. All right, so in this is going to be introduction. I'm just going to say um, new message. All right, I will just put like this. You received. I'll see you after this. You can type whatever you want to do. I'm just not going to type out everything. You guys can just copy it into your. All right. So basically, what I've done right now, remember the two hash signs right there, and just make this bold. All right. So now we in that data variable that we receive, we're going to then we just access the name, and in this one, we're just going to access the message like this. Okay. Let me just do it like that. So you can just pause the video, just copy them into your own. All right, so that's now our view for our message that we're going to receive all set up. All right, so obviously the next thing that we want to do is we need to actually go to our contact form where we're going to actually process the form. So we finish the validation rules right there. Now the next thing, we validate them. And then now we actually need to create that data variable right here okay we're going to ink set it to be an array okay so let me just open and close it like this now the thing is that data is basically the name is going to equal this dot name all right and the email that's going to equal to email the last one the message that's going to equal this dot message like this All right so now basically that's basically our data that we're going to send to the either the admin or the owner or whoever of the owns the website All right so the next thing is we're going to bring in our mail class Okay, and then we're just going to do the two. Then we're going to send it to whoever it might be. This can be info at business.com. So whoever that might be. Then we add the send. Okay, so what do we want to send? We want to send this new contact. Now, as you can see, you see the reason why I said changed it to be the mailable instead of just the contact form. Otherwise, the names, you know, you just going to kind of get confusing so in this case we will know that the contact form mailable we know that's the, actually the mailable class that's why i deleted that right there in the beginning i want to leave that in the video so that you guys can learn something from it now the thing is this new contact form mailable right here it's going to receive the data that we pass to it okay right there in the construct okay so we're going to pass that data this data to that new contact form right there okay and the next thing that we want to do after we send that email we actually just want to flash the session all right we just want to flash it not false flash with a success message we obviously haven't created the alert a component but i just want to add it in here for anybody that wants to maybe add an uh, alert component to let the give feedback to the users all right so thank you for reaching out to us all right so now our contact form is sent now the next part that we want to do all right so once this form has been sent it basically will populate those fields all right now the thing is what we can do this is another property if we want to reset the input fields to be basically blank again we use this dot reset right there okay so basically what this does is it will basically set the input fields 
right? They, these fields basically to be empty. So after all this is done, right? So the data, put it inside our mailable class and just make sure your mailable class is imported at the top as well. All right, so just make sure your mailable class is imported right there and make sure you import obviously the mail class as well. Otherwise, you're going to get an error. All right, so let's see if we can process this form and actually we receive the email. All right, so we obviously haven't got an alert component right there, but I don't want to create one, otherwise, we'll take up too much time. But you can create it on your own and just use the session to bring it up there. All right, so let's quickly add a name in here. We're just going to do John and Doe and John at email.com. And this is just going to be a message. This is a new message. Like that. All right, so let's press send. We're obviously not going to get any feedback, but you will see the fields will be basically empty right there. So once the form is being sent. Right. So as you can see, the form is sent. We obviously don't have any feedback. So that's why if we had the alert component right there, we would have said the form is successfully sent. All right. So let's quickly go to our mail trap right there. As you can see, we get the live wire contact form message right there. As you can see, to info at business.com. And we got a new message right here. Let me make it a little bit bigger. As you can see, you received a new contact message from Carter Shea and John and John at example.com. And this is a new message. Thanks. You can obviously change this part right here. This actually comes from your, let me just show you where that is. All right. So in your environment, let me just make this a little bit smaller. In your environment file, you will see your app name right here is Laravel right there so you we could have changed this to live wire app or whatever the case may be but let me just show you as you can see it goes to the convict file i'm just going to look for the app.name okay all right but if we go to the convict let me just show you if we go to the config file so app right there you will see it goes for look for the name an environment variable go and click for app.name if there's nothing there it will default to Laravel. All right, so that goes in our environment file. If you have a name with spacing between them, right, just use like this. So live wire contact like this. Okay, so then it will read it as one string right there. Okay, and so let's just try again. Now, as you can see, I've sent it another one a few seconds ago. As you can see, it will change to the live wire contact right there. So if your name is got spaces in between, just add them between the double quotes. Right. So the next thing that I want to do is I want to change this button as soon as it's being sent so that the user don't press it again. But I want to maybe make um, give an indication that something is being processed. Okay. So let's do that. Right, so what we want to do is whenever the form is busy sending, we j I just want to put in a message there to say that it's busy sending. Right, so let's go inside our form right here, just be just in the same button. All right, I just want to create a div. Okay, like this. Now the thing is, we got a attribute for wire target. All right, now this one will see what part of the component what method is busy loading or processing all right so what which one do we want to target now in this case i want to target basically our form submit method while it's still busy processing okay so then we want to add the wire loading attribute okay so while that is loading i just want to give it a class as well so let's say a margin right of one just to give it just a little bit more room Okay, make it two. Okay, then in there, I just want to add a span tag and I just want to say sending like this. All right, so basically, what now happens, it wire target basically, it will target that form submit. So while that's busy processing, we're going to add a wire loading event on that, right, to check um, while it's busy loading. And then we add the sending. So once it's finished 
processing, then basically this needs to go away. All right, so let's see if this actually display if the form is not being submitted. All right, so now as you can see, the form is not that sending is not being displayed right there. Okay, so let's add the name like here, and we're just going to add John at email dot com and a message like this. So if I press this button, it needs to say sending send. As you can see, it says sending send. All right. So as soon as that is finished, it disappears and the form is actually sent. Awesome stuff. Uh, as you can see, we still get the email right there. Uh, the thing is, that is just a very simplistic way to do it. This right there, you can obviously um, use it in a different ways. Okay, so while this is basically happening, do this, and while it's not, do something else. Right, but I just wanted to show you that attribute right there. You can obviously add spinners, um, any uh, GIFs or whatever the case might be, you can add it in there as well. So basically the wired or target, what does it need to target? It needs to target basically the form submission. And while that is happening, while loading, and then just do this. If that is finished, then just display that as well. All right. Together with it, obviously. All right. Thank you guys for watching. This is the end of the how to actually send the form. So if you have any questions, please guys ask them for me in the comment section. And obviously you can add a whole lot of extra functionality to that. But I just wanted to show you how to actually do it in LiveWire. Obviously you can do uh, the same things that you will normally do in PHP in Laravel, where you can actually add your alerts, your sessions. I just wanted to add the session in there. So if you want to actually add the session, please, you can add the session as well. All right. Thank you guys for watching. And if you like the video, please give it a like. If you don't, please give it a dislike. If you have any suggestions or feedback or anything, please give them for me in the comment section. And please consider subscribing to the channel. It will help me out quite a lot. And adios. Thank you guys and see you in the next one.